All right, Hans, speech. What makes Angular is not the code. What makes Angular great is not the code, it's the people. Take care of your people. What a gorgeous day in Sunnyvale. I'm sad I didn't get to spend very much time in it, but at least I got to go outside today. What'd you get there, baby boo? Mm -hmm. It's the smashing book of the frontiers of web design. And what is that book? I don't really know. What made you order? No, it's like a compilation of like the latest uh, web design techniques and stuff. Is that angular in it? Is there, any, is there any angular? I don't think so. Okay. No, it's purely like design and. It's funny because I did this 23andMe kit years ago and I've almost totally forgotten what the process was. I know you have to spit in this little tube, but I'm sure there's an order of things to it. The bad news about doing this 23andMe kit is it says no food or drink for 30 minutes before and I just ate and drank. So I guess we're doing this another night. So actually it was a few years ago that I first did the 23andMe kit and I got both the health reports and the ancestry reports. This was before that they got into that little bit of trouble with the FDA. And my report was filled with really interesting information. I was having a conversation with some of my colleagues a few weeks ago, and we were talking about how valuable that information was because it's definitely interesting, but the question is, is that information actually valuable? And I looked back on what has happened and what I've seen, and what I've done with that information. And to be frank, it really isn't valuable, right? Like I don't live my life differently because of that data. I haven't made any changes. I have not learned anything that is actionable in my life. But that doesn't mean it's not valuable someday, right? I think that there's this idea that if we collect enough genetic information and enough data about how people live their lives, what happens to them, how their genes affect them over time, we are gonna start figuring things out and having a better understanding of how the genome maps into probabilities and risks and bodily reactions to the environments that surround us. And so while it may not be immediately valuable, I definitely believe in the long term of this information. There's also a lot of people that are afraid of the privacy implications of your genome being sequenced and owned by a private company. Now, obviously, they, they make it very clear in their terms and conditions that they don't own it, et cetera. They just are using it for research purposes and those sorts of things. And I'm totally fine with using it for research purposes. I'm totally fine with even someone having a copy of my genome. I mean, I've seen Gattaca. I'm not super worried about someone stealing a few flecks of skin or a hair and cloning me. I think those are all very outlandish sci-fi concerns, but there are some concerns about things like what happens if a health insurance company finds out that I'm at a greater risk or something? Does that drive up my health insurance premiums? But even then, all of this would be completely moot if we had a healthcare system like the rest of the world where everything was more socialized, where the government was responsible for taking care of everyone in the country, not just those that can afford it. So the reason I have this kit right now is that a few weeks ago, 23andMe wrote me an email and they said, hey, we've actually had several generations of our processing technology and we can't get any more information from your old sample using our old techniques. We actually have to collect a new sample and use our new techniques and our new chips and our new processing. And I thought, okay, even if this information hasn't been valuable to me in the past and I probably won't get any direct value out of it in the medium term, I really do believe in this idea of sharing our knowledge and coming together and bringing humanity's understanding of itself to another level. I am so tired right now. Steph and I just watched another two episodes of Stranger Things, where like four episodes or six episodes out of the eight, so we've got two left. I need to go to bed. Good night.